wild animals always belong in the wild. We are here at Boulder Ridge Wild Animal Park in Alto, where something new and exciting is always happening. Now, there is a reason we are here by the black wildebeest, and Rick the reptile guy is gonna explain some exciting stuff here. This is, this is amazing. The black wildebeest, there's hardly any other zoos in the United States that displays these. Check this out, if you can see that, there is a baby black wildebeest just Aww. born this week. Dave was so proud of that. He's very well known for all these animals out here have babies. These were the only ones that haven't had any yet, and just this week, a baby black wildebeest. You can see him staring at us, he's daring us to yeah. go in there. <laughs> but we don't want to go in there. No, if you go in there, you will not make it back out, that's for sure. Okay, so it's great. From the safety of the safari ride, we can check this out. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so while these animals don't really want us close by, there are other ones, like your water buffalo. Very hands-on at this place. What are these guys? These are native the too. biggest animals we have. They're named Asia. These are the Asian water buffalo. They are huge, they weigh one ton each, and there's two babies in the petting zoo that you guys can come out here and just pet the baby water buffalo. Okay, this is the biggest alligator north of Florida. He is 14 feet long, 1,000 pounds. Dude, I just got him from the Swamp Brothers, from Robbie. These were his personal pets. She's under the bridge right there. She's gonna be the first alligator in the state of Michigan to have babies. I can't wait, she'll make a nest right here. She'll lay 30 to 40 eggs right there. We'll have to come in here and get those eggs out. It'll be awesome. 30 to 40 baby American alligators. And then in 100 years, they'll be as big as big boy right here. Oh, can you hear how strong he is, how tough he is? What a monster. Look at that. Completely gone now. He's hiding. And notice, I am safely behind the fence. Okay. You ready? Baby steps. There you go. Chubbs. Can I get it way out there? Yeah. Chubbs. Jobs was given to me from a 70-year-old lady. She called me up. She goes, Rick, will you come get my alligator? And this guy was in her living room, in between her couch and her TV. I said, you are awesome, right? Oh. Oh my goodness. And I said, what do you want me to do, is jump on him and get him out? She said, I haven't held it since it was just a baby. She grew it in her living room for 50 years. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and they can go at 20 miles an hour, Rachel. Isn't that awesome? Okay, oh, there he is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How cool is that, right? <laughs> 10 foot, 400 pound alligator, eating right out of your hand. You know, awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Good boy, Chubbs. <laughs> okay, since Rick was showing us big and scaly, he said there was something else he wanted you to see. So, Rick? <gasps> Look at this guy. Whoa! <laughs> this, is, this is a Burmese python. You gotta feel him, Rachel. Pick him up right in the middle there. This is a Burmese python, and he weighs over 200 pounds. Okay, two big guys carrying this one. Yeah, it should take two big guys and a girl in the middle would be <laughs> would be ideal there, right there. Just, you could pick them up, yeah. Okay. But this guy was given to us from a... <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. How would you get this guy? Are you ready for this? Okay. A 60-year-old lady called me. She goes, Rick, will you come to my house and get my snake? I said, probably not. She goes, dude, it's almost 20 feet long. I said, I will be there. This snake was in her kitchen. It was her pet. She was terrified of it. And it is a beautiful snake. Look at him. He's just about to shed. You can see his eyes are blue there. He's just about to shed and a brand new skin right underneath there. Look brand new. <laughs> I just fed him a 40 pound pig. Frozen in thought, of course, but uh, they eat anything that had parents. They're complete carnivores. But this guy just gained another 40 pounds when we gave him that 40 pound pig. I love it. What a beauty. So we were just handling some really big creatures here at Boulder Ridge Wild Animal Park, but now we go to the smallest of babies. That's right. Kids love these little guys. They're just little chickens that are born every day here. We have incubators in the back, and then when they get born, the kids can come here and they get to pick them up and feel them. Look how cute he is. That's oh, just adorable, so isn't he? cute. And what do I have here, Rick? A little African um, pygmy goat, and this goat is just a week old. And there's a bunch back here, and the kids just love to come out here and feed them, and it's very hands-on, which is... It's, it's 
awesome. There are babies here all the time. We even were able to see a kangaroo. That's right, our kangaroo has a joey in the pouch. We just took a picture of it and it's sticking its head out. Just came out, I heard for the first time yesterday, it was actually jumping around on the ground and hides back in his mom's pouch. And a porcupine as well? Baby porcupine born yesterday. Oh, yeah. That is so cool. But, you know, things are changing a lot here at Boulder Ridge, which makes it a great place to come and visit. Look at us up on Facebook to find out when the baby zebras are born because kids love coming here and get a pet the baby zebras. All right, so we are here at Boulder Ridge Wild Animal Park. And so Rick the Reptile Guy and a friend, <laughs> two friends in fact, but one <laughs> a little bit... Um, Scary to some, Terry. We're giving some support oh. here. She's a little thing about snakes. I have a huge phobia about snakes, which is uh, something I probably should try to get over, but I, I just have this a reaction. But Rick, you said it was an a, an animal just like this one that got you to fall yeah, in love that with got animals. Yeah, me hooked into, into the animal. Dude, my dad grew up in the jungle. And this jungle was so cool that they'd go on these hikes. These hikes were so cool, they took trackers. These trackers were so cool, they took machine guns on these hikes. This guy said to my dad, he goes, dude, look, a tree. My dad said so. He goes, look, under the tree there's some deer my dad said so the tree branch fell on the deer and ate it it was <laughs> it was one of these snakes ate a 200 pound deer he oh saw God. that right in the wild once my dad told me a story like that i was just fascinated with reptiles oh that is amazing and you've really made this love of animals wild animals in fact and shared it with people i think two years ago we talked and you were just kind of talking about this idea That's, yeah. of you had a lot of animals at your house at the time <laughs> and I was almost amazed to say, like, can this really happen in West Michigan? But you're doing it, and you're growing crazy big. It has been a dream come true. But I do remember you gave me my first interview two years ago right in my house with a baby zebra. And it's just got so much bigger since then. It's just absolutely yeah. a dream come true. And you make this interactive for families. You know, it's no secret. <laughs> I'm afraid of reptiles. But you really want people to be up close and personal with these animals. There was a time where a blind kid came to the park and I was thinking, well, that's not going to be very much fun. When that kid left the park, he told his dad, he goes, Dad, today was a good day to be blind. Oh, That's how wow. hands-on it is. Wow. He's cool. never felt a snake before. Can you imagine being blind, never feeling a snake, and then coming across this thing. He said, I understand how those scales work now. I can feel that. And it's just very hands-on. And it's great for people of all ages. We think of a wild animal park or a petting zoo, which, you know, kids can get hands-on. But the day that I was there shooting that story with you, there were a lot of elderly people there. And you did a <laughs> presentation for them. And that's what you do. You can do parties. You can do presentations, events for people. We actually have some pictures of, of some of the things that you've done. Yeah, I, from preschoolers to really old people, I can entertain them all, and it's a lot of fun. I'll be at Rock the Rapids, too, the 20th through the 25th, mm -hmm. and Robbie Kezzy from the Swamp Brothers might come with me there from Florida. That's wow. exciting. You'll be there with Toby Keith, Miranda Lambert, and your <laughs> buddy here. Yep. And then we're going to bring Big Chubbs to that. He's a 10-foot, 400-pound alligator. That's my friend that I was feeding yeah, did, I, did, did I that tell you where that Chubbs. one came from? He told me that I've only been bit by one alligator, and it was Chubbs. And that was the one as I was feeding it. <laughs> a snake or a steak there. Uh, wow. So tell amazing. us how, how people can come because and, and visit the Boulder Ridge Wild Animal Park because it's really accessible. Our Facebook page, we like to push that because then it always shows what new babies we'll have. We just had a baby porcupine born. That shows on our Facebook page. You can look that up or our website, boulderridgewap.com. You can find it from there. Yeah, and we also have a contest because we want people to be able to experience Boulder Ridge Wild Animal Park. We're giving away two family four packs to a couple of lucky viewers. Boulder Ridge is located at 8313 Pratt Lake in Alto. And to register for the contest, all you have to do is head to the contest section under the 8 West section at woodtv.com. Of course, if you win, you'll have to be able to come here to our studio to pick up your tickets. Rick, thank you so much for everything <laughs> you're doing. It's yeah. amazing. I know that you have dreams of having certain animals at Boulder Ridge one day. And the way you're going, it seems like it's, it's gonna always going to grow. Absolutely. It's always going to You want to have your own TV show. <laughs> Why do you need a host who is afraid of the animals? You could do this on your own. You gotta okay. come feel him. At least touch him. You gotta get over your fear. Just touch the very end of his tail. How about that? <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> We're out of time. We'll Thank be right so back. Much, guys. <laughs> Whoa. That's West.